So let me give you an example. Think about Alexa. In order to really communicate with the computer, you need to have a line of sight. You need to really, you know, speak to the computer to understand what you're saying. And sometimes you need to do this many times. But humans are not like that. We want to understand how is it that the brain can, you know, segregate um, this auditory scene around us and parse it into different parts. Let's say the speech that I'm caring about versus the background noise that I don't care about. And hopefully, you know, use it for you know, technological purposes and also clinical purposes for, you know, uh, understanding how different hearing impairments, you know, occur and how we can treat them. Uh, all of this cannot be done by an engineer or a biologist. So the BBI seed grant actually allowed me to team up with a colleague of mine, a physicist, who's an expert in lasers. And now we're building the system and study, you know, to, to study neural circuits. If I wanted to think of how to manipulate a circuit, you know, I could never think of uh, building high-speed lasers that can do this because I'm not a physicist, right? So, so without the BBI, there was no obvious way for, you know, for me and, you know, other colleagues, of, you know, across campus to come together and think about these hard problems from different angles. So this collaboration also allowed me um, and my colleagues to uh, team up with a bigger group of people from across the U.S to not only study the auditory system, but also look at the olfactory and visual system using the same methodology. The results of uh, this project, thanks to BBI, has been really exciting and rewarding for us.